So this is my lip liner and eyeliner collection. These are all my black liners. These are all my colored liners. These are any type of liner that is a liquid. And then these are lip liners. But then recently, oh yeah, and up here like pot gel liners and some other random things. Recently I bought this little thing off of Amazon, just a little acrylic holder. And this is what I actually keep in like my everyday makeup area. This is kind of like with my collection. And so in here I just keep like my everyday eyeliners and lip liners. But today we're gonna declutter everything. These are the three pot gel liners that I own. Um, I just need to admit to myself that I don't like using eyeliner in this way and so I should never buy them. Um, the Maybelline one is the one that people like say is really good from the drugstore. I've had this like a year and a half. I never use it so I need to get rid of that. And then this Bobbi Brown one, I did try to use this quite a few times. I thought maybe if I got like a really good one, it would be easier, I don't know. But anyway, it's not very black at all when you apply it, so I'm going to pass that on as well. This Essence one, I think it's all right, but um, I don't want to get rid of it yet because I'm doing an Essence video. So I probably will get rid of it after that once I've like given a review on it, but I need to keep it for now for that reason. I also have some like brushes, and I'll just include those here because why not um yeah this is the pure minerals oh yeah pure minerals eyeliner brush i've never used this once so i'm gonna get rid of that this is the still spot essentials one this is not very good i'm gonna get rid of that this one is from face secrets slanted eyeliner i have no idea where i got this from and the bristles came to me all weird and janky anyway so i've never used it so i'm gonna get rid of that and then this is the sk1 oh this is a smudger brush but i actually use this as a lip brush i forgot that's why it was in there so i'm gonna keep that so these are all of my black eyeliners i could never use these up in a lifetime so let's see i'm pretty sure i know which formulas i like and which i don't i've never used this the physician's formula shimmer strips custom eye enhancing kohl kajal eyeliner <laughs> What's with the names Physician's Formula? They're just so long. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't like the shape of this. So that's why I've never used it. So I'm getting rid of that. Somebody else can use it. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is like, um, like a gift with purchase. And it's a nice eyeliner, but it makes my eyes burn. So I have to get rid of that one. Here's another Essence one. This is the Essence Gel Eye Pencil Waterproof. And this is actually very black and very creamy and I do like it a lot. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one I also really, really love. This is from Lancome. Um, you can see I've used it so much that I can't really see what the name is anymore. But it's the Drama Liquid Pencil in Noir Intense and it's also very black and very creamy, like super creamy. This actually goes like in my everyday area, but We'll just cut out that detail for now or I'll be talking about it too long. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner. I lost the cap for this, so I'm sure it's dried out, but I didn't even like it before I lost the cap for it, so that's gonna go. The Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in, what shade, 01, no, 10. This is okay. It's not my favorite. It's not as creamy. I don't know. I kinda think I'll just pass this along. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pass it along because I also have this one which I love, which is the Ardency and Modster Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner. And this one is very creamy as well and stays really well on my waterline. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is the City Color Creamy Eyeliner in black. I don't, I've never used this, but look. I don't know if that's because it's dry or if it came to me that way. It's like gray. It's hard and gray, so you can go. Uh, Sephora Waterproof Contour Matte Gel Eyeliner in All Black Everything. I actually have used a lot of this up. I used to use this to tight line with, and it's got like that twist up cap, but what I hate about the twist up caps is that you can never get a sharp point on it anymore. And it's also like started to completely dry out, so I could probably warm it up and get it going again, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. It was okay, I just, I hate that you can't sharpen those. I don't have a solution for that. This one is from Starlux. It, um, the cap never wants to stay on here. It's the Jet Luxe Longwear Eye Pencil, and it's a twist up like that. 
and it's super dark and creamy but this one is so creamy that it gets everywhere and so i don't like it so i know there's a fine line you guys might be saying you're crazy why do you like one thing when it's creamy and not that but i just don't like that one so i'm gonna get rid of that one this is the rimmel scandalize in o2 sparkling black i never really use these black glitter liners for any reason and it's also gray so i have used that a fair amount but i'm gonna get rid of that and then this one is a kat von d it's a similar idea it's a uh, autograph pencil in black metal love and it's like that would be a dupe almost except this is slightly blacker but they both have silver sparkles in it I just don't use these, so I'm just going to get rid of it. This is how big it was, pretty much, so it was like a mini. I didn't use it up that much, so we'll pass that along. This is actually from CoverGirl, even though it's all completely worn away. Years ago, this is the only eyeliner I ever used to use, but it's not very good. I don't know. I discovered way better things, so that's going to go. This is from NARS. This is the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto. This came in the birthday gift last year and it is nice and dark and creamy and i'm gonna keep that one um this one is the hourglass 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel pencil and it's super super thin you can see like the thinnest of the thin but look that's what keeps happening the tip will dry out and then oh you can hear it click once you click it up you can't click it back down by the way um the tip will dry out and, and look it like it's dry it keeps breaking. No, no. For how expensive these are, that's just not good. I think this one came in a set, so I didn't really pay for it. Um, but no, that's no good. This is the Buxom, what are these called? Uh, Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner and Call Me. I actually use this a lot because I put it in my bought it, forgot it one month, and it's really good. It's very creamy, very black. I like that one a lot too. So here is, actually that's liquid. Here is the CoverGirl Ink It. That might be what that one was. I don't know, but this one is not good. It's a, actually, that's a lie. It's not bad, but it's a little stiff and I'm just not gonna use it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. Um, I've used this a fair amount too. It's also very creamy and very black. Now my only issue is I have all these very creamy, very black eyeliners. I never need to, like, until these dry up, I never need to buy another one ever again. So don't let me ever buy another black creamy coal eyeliner ever again until these are all dried up and all used up. These are all of my colored eyeliners. And I really hardly ever wear colored eyeliner anyway. I shouldn't have these. I sh just shouldn't have this many. Actually, there's one in here too. Um, I shouldn't have this many, it's way too many. So let's go through them. Oh yeah, this is another, this is from Da Vinci. It's from Germany. It's for, I don't know, it, it was on Amazon and they said it was an eyeliner brush, so I bought it, but I never really used it. But I think I'm gonna hang on to that just in case because it's not a bad brush, okay. These two, again, never used from Physician's Formula, longest name ever. They came in a three set. This one is really like dry and hard to use. And then this one, I don't know. It's kind of dry and I don't see myself ever using that color. And I never have used either one of those in a year and a half, so why would I start? Um, these are from, this is from NYC, it's the HD Automatic Eyeliner waterproof, blah bitty blah bitty blah, 04 turquoise. This is an okay color, but it doesn't, it's it's too like stiff. It doesn't go on your waterline. And I don't really wear this kind of thing on my upper lash line, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is from Essence. Again, I'm gonna save this for the video I'm doing, but I'll probably get rid of it after that. It's kind of a baby blue with sparkles, but again, it doesn't really go very well in the waterline, so but I'll keep it for now, just for that video. Oh, that's another liquid. Okay, this one I know for sure I'm keeping. This is the Estee Edit Inside Track. It's got that color on that side and this beautiful, bright nude, super creamy, like I'm barely even touching my hand there on that side. This is awesome. It is pricey, but they're so good. I love that, so keeping that. 
So another Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Smoke. And while we're here, I also have Desperation and I also have Sabbath. These small ones came in a set. I think that's it for my Urban Decays. Um, and then I bought this one full size, obviously. I'm gonna keep, definitely gonna keep this one. It's like this really nice light gray. And I haven't really used it enough, but I should. Cause it's actually really nice. I should just put that in my everyday place. I don't really use navy that much and that's why I haven't really used this, but look at how creamy it is. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And this is smoke. How different is this? Wow, those are very similar. Maybe I'll pass this along to a friend because I don't need two gray eyeliners that are that similar. So we'll get rid of that. This is from Rimmel. It's the soft coal in pure white. And this is very dry and kind of hard to use. And I'm gonna get rid of this because if I'm gonna put something in my waterline to brighten up, it's gonna be that. And I would never use this like as a base on my lid because it's too hard and pointy. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Here's another from Lancome, the Drama Liquid Pencil, except this is a colored one I got as a, like, a free gift with purchase. And I don't know about this color. Like when am I ever gonna use that? I'm not. So I should just get rid of it. It's a great product, but I'm never gonna use that color. It just, like, I have green eyes. I don't need to use blue. Um, here's another Essence Effect Eye Pencil Long Lasting, blah, 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 in Gold Digger. Okay, I bought this specifically to review for my Essence um, video, and it is crap. I thought it was gonna be Glide On, you know, like that other Essence one. No, it's not good. And it's it's barely even gold, it's like chunky. But I have to keep it for now to review it, but it will be going, trust me. This also is no good. This is Hard Candy Stay In Line Mechanical Gel Eyeliner in Eggplant. And I've been searching for purple eyeliners. Um, this one is just, I don't know, it's too dark to really be the purple I want and it's very hard and stiff. Hard and stiff. Jeez, that's what she said. Okay, this sucks too. This is Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous. Um, this should be with the liquids, but it's just happened to be here. But this is supposed to be purple, but it dries brown and it's not pigmented at all and it's very dry, so that's gonna go. This, I don't know if I should keep it or not. Let's see, this is the L'Oreal Silkissimi Highlighter Pencil. Should I keep this? It's kind of like a rose gold color. Maybe I should just put that where I use, like where I put my everyday liners because that's actually really pretty. Let's give it another shot, see if I use it. This one is from Skin. I got this in uh, some kind of box, subscription box. Uh, Luxe Waterproof Eyeliner in Navy Seal. And if I remember, it's very creamy. Yes, it's very creamy. But if I'm going to keep one navy, I'm not going to keep this because I haven't used this since I got it. Why would I start? Um, oh, this is a NYX gold pencil. The slide on glide on pencils in um, glitzy gold. This one is what I wanted that essence one to be. Yes. See the difference? Put them right next to each other. See the difference there? Huge difference. This one is way better, so I'm gonna keep this one. I don't know where my camera just cut off, so just quickly, the City Color Photo Chic Eyeliner Pencil in white. I'm gonna get rid of that because it's a little dry. Um, the Rimmel Exaggerate in, in the Nude right there. It's okay, I just don't like it as much as the Estee Edit one. Um, this one is a little bit stiffer and that one glides and brightens so much this is a little bit peachier and not as brightening this one is the sephora uh, contour eye pencil waterproof in fairy tale and this is just like that black one except it's a colored version and look how stunningly beautiful that is it's so gorgeous and i don't use it very much and i really should um, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Eye Pencil in Night Violet, and that's that purple in there. And I really like this one a lot, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, now. This is from Star Looks. I got this in a box of some kind. It's called Ultra Hunter is the shade. It's the gem pencil. 
and this is beautiful too. Bright green sparkly. I never use this, but I, you know what? I don't want to get rid of it because it's just so pretty. So just in case I'll ever use it, I don't know, but it's beautiful. This is Mr. Right Now from The Balm. I got this in a box. This is in the shade Scott, which is like a deep burgundy-ish, brownish shade, which is nice. It's just not something I use. Um, it is a nice product though. It is creamy. I'm going to pass that along though. Now this is the Tarte Smolder Eyes. It's not the skinny Smolder Eyes. It's the full, like the full chubby one. Um, in golden black. So this is another black eyeliner that has like, this one has gold shimmer in it as opposed to the other ones that had silver. And I just can't sharpen this because of the shape and size of it. It's too weird. I can never get a point on it. And I don't know if I even love the color anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one. This is all my liquid liners. Um, I think I need to save lip liners for a different video because this is already super long. And I know I need to spend some time comparing colors on those. So I'm just going to end it after this. Okay. So I just bought this. It's the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Liquid Eyeliner. It is just as good as the Kat Von D one. Um, so I'm just going to keep buying this from now on. Unless I can get like the minis of this and 100 point perks and stuff like that. But this one, I almost put it in my empties. But it does have a tiny little bit of life left to it. I love the... Uh, dog hair. I love the brush on this. It's just, actually, this is getting kind of dried out. Actually, okay. Now that I have this, this can go in empties. Yeah, it's a little bit dried out. So let's get rid of that. All right. Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. This is a felt tip. I don't like it as much for like drawing a wing as the cap on D, but it's really good. And I'm going to keep that. It does wear away though in the inner corner faster than a lot of things. Um, what else is a pen form? Let's just get all the pen forms out of the way first. Yeah. Okay. The Ardency in Punker in the shade, uh, it's just in the shade black. This again, it's very much like the Stila one. It's a felt tip. It's nice and black. I like that one. So I'm going to keep that until that's used up. This is the Tarte So Fine liner. It's like a micro, micro tip. And it's kind of dried out, so I kind of should put this in empties. Um, Cause I did use it a lot. Like I did use it to the point where I could say I used it up. So yeah, we'll have to do that, but it needs to go. I don't love it. I didn't love it. Let me just let you know that now. But let's move on. This is the new from L'Oreal, the Voluminous Liner Noir. This has a really cool shape. It's like a triangle, so it fits in your finger so nicely. It's got a really thick felt tip. It is a slightly flexible. It's really black. Um, this will transfer. So you can you have to be wearing black liner in your waterline, your lower waterline, because it will transfer. And if you don't have liner there, you will see it and it will be gross, which happened to me the first time. So I will keep this and I will use it, but it's not the best. This is awesome. This is from Sephora. It's a colorful wink it felt liner. It's a waterproof in bone white. This is really cool for doing accent work. Like look at how pigmented that white is for a liquid. It's awesome. Um, and pretty affordable. Like, you know, you don't have to spend the Too Faced prices or Makeup Forever prices or whatever. Just get the Sephora brand. These two things are from Hard Candy. These are the Walk the Line liquid liners. They're glitter. Now these were a dollar each. They came in a weird bin one time. Um, it has like a brush tip and they're glitter liner. So I like to use this like during the holidays. But I'm gonna keep this. I wanna get the Urban Decay one, the glitter liner from them. I'm gonna keep this until I get it. Um, just for like looks and tutorials because this flakes off it flakes off in chunks it like breaks off your eyes so i don't recommend getting it but just for me to do looks with um for tutorials i'll keep it for now and then the black one is the same thing it like it has the glitter in it and stuff this one is actually pretty gooey and not so nice but it's holographic um but same thing it breaks off in chunks so i'm just gonna get rid of that one because i don't really use that one this i'm gonna get rid of this is a sample size of the They're Real push-up liner from Benefit. And this, I don't even, I don't know why 
Benefit doesn't just discontinue this. I've never heard anybody say they like this. I got this in some subscription box at some point. It's like a gel liner. This one is brown and it you, you like turn it up and it's supposed to, I don't know. It's terrible. Like it, ugh, it just goes everywhere. It's not good. I do not recommend that one. The e.l.f. Precision Liquid Liner is really good liquid liner. Um, it's nice and black, but it takes a long time to dry. So, before I say yes or no, let's just go through all of these kind of pot, like, dip into kind of things. So this is from Sephora. It's the... What are you? Eyeliner? Oh, High Precision Eyeliner in black. So same idea, same kind of brush. Actually, no, this is a shorter brush. A little bit more product comes out on this. Yeah, this, this is much harder to get. It's called a precision, no, it's not. It's much harder to get things done with this. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I did use this in my butterfly Halloween tutorial, so I used up a lot of it because I used a ton of black liner creating that mask on my face. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of that because it's just not good for anything else. This one I really like. This is, again, from Essence. It's the Dip Eyeliner, and this one is waterproof. And this one has such a weird brush. It's like, it's not even a brush. It's almost like a spongy thing. And it's got a really weird texture. I think you can probably see it. It's not super pointy. Um, this is not good for creating a wing with, but it's really good for when you just lay it down on your lash line and press it down, you know what I mean? And then make your way across your lash line. Um, because all you have to do is lay it down and press it. And I like the actual product itself. So what I'll do is I'll do that a lot of the time and then just create a wing from a different liner. So I'm going to keep that for sure. So, and then this is the other one. So the Almay Liquid Liner. I like the product in here. It's black and matte but this little brush thing is really terrible it's like the tiniest little tip but you can't really create a wing with it like it's really hard to work with so i'm gonna get rid of this one i'll keep this one i don't really feel like i need to keep this one i'll get rid of that one i've got two wet n wild mega liners here and i don't think i've ever used this Oh, oh, that's completely dried out. So that needs to go in the garbage. And then this one, same thing. Not as dried out, but it's pretty dried out. So that needs to go too. So everything this side over is what I'm keeping and everything over there in that huge pile is what is going away. Sorry, it's unsteady. I'm just trying to get a good shot for you guys. Yeah, so this is everything that is going away to friends and family or the garbage. And this is what I am keeping. So that is it for today. If you haven't seen it already, I do have a declutter playlist where I have lots of makeup that I am, or I have decluttered over the last few months. So I will link that in the description bar below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.